nothing popped, but just in case. I just in case if anybody else is planning on checking this game out as well, I do recommend um make sure you're updated to the latest driver because my buddy Pat last night found out that he wasn't uh, or at least he thought he was, and that might have solved his issue. Every time the game would crash on him, um, which was a lot more common than me, he would get like an error code, I think. Uh, for me, anytime it has crashed, it literally is just um, no error code. It just full on stopped working. So that, and it has been, I think, maximum now for the f four three days of playing it's only crashed like three times so maybe like once a day um it's it really hasn't been bad for me at all so so that's a thing but uh we're not we're, well we kind of are doing a little bit more of the campaign i have completed the full campaign so if you're worried about spoilers or anything like that at this point hopefully i'm not really going to be talking about it um but I do have like the iconic missions, which are more like story based towards the actual players. Uh, I'm going to try and do more Captain America um, challenges today. I'm going to do his story mission, Thor's story mission, hopefully Thor's challenges today as well. Um, and I might start branching out into other characters to start leveling them up too. I did get to power level 45 or so maybe even i might be at like 51 or 52 um with my rank being at i think 28 with captain america captain america seems to be my highest level character so far um i was going to mean more so like uh what's his uh thor but my buddy Pat said that he wanted to play as him. So I was like, okay, I'll play as Captain America. It seems like he likes uh, Iron Man the most now. So uh, it sounds like Thor might be a more common option. But I'm still, uh, still having a lot of fun with Captain. So, and plus he's my highest guy right now. The one thing I'm really looking forward to is honestly leveling up other characters. Um, so that way when you set them as your companions and stuff, they, they still use like all their abilities, um, which is pretty cool. I think their power level technically just like gets upscaled to you. So that way they can still like, uh, they're still effective. So that's nice. But I did see that some people are, I mean, they're not the greatest with AI companions apparently say for instance like if you have iron man in your party as a companion um apparently he doesn't really fly around at all he just walks on his feet barely does any of the attacks um that he might have unlocked uh, basic like punches and abilities and stuff so hopefully there's a patch for that later on down the line but we'll see oh uh, We do have some missions popping in about 10 minutes here, so that's nice. Let me check one thing here. I'm just gonna send a message to Pat. Uh, so yeah, faction missions will be refreshing in about 10 minutes here. Uh, we do have the new challenge card, dailies. These refresh at midnight. Um, which is interesting. I'm going to try to get this done possibly today. Complete 10 drop zones. Um, I just need to do 8 more. That honestly would level me up like uh, all the way to like just about 7. Because if it's 11 points. The weeklies give you the most. The dailies, they only give you about 3. Defeat en enemies with a steamroller. 15 times that's actually not bad and defeat blitz beam or elite enemies five yeah so like those two are fairly easy they'll only give you about three though so by completing both of them i'll get to right here um or right under right before the skin um 
Let's see. I guess we can bed? talk with her. Oh, we do have two objectives, but they re they all refresh in seven minutes. So, I didn't get to complete this, unfortunately, but I did do the work. other one uh, for the ant hill. So honestly, I could fast travel to the ant hill and see if uh, I can just hand that in. Is there a way to get into this room behind them? I don't see it. I do have an objective back there, though. I don't know what that is. Rue, Tony Star. Oh, that's the gear in inventory. Damn it. Always doing that. He's checking out the fabricator machine. Oh, nice. So we do have uh, one pattern. Maniac. Manic. Uh, all right. That's all we got. Yeah, you totally did. Good. I, oh, wait, what? Of course you did, but who cares? All right. There's nothing really else that I want to pick up right now. Uh, we might be able to knock out like one drop zone. I don't know if I want to do a full on war zone just yet because the the next thing will drop in like five minutes now. But the minion drop zone, we could knock that out. Yeah, might as well do it. We'll see if we match make with anybody. I'll give it about like 45 seconds. We match with it, match make with somebody cool. If not, then we'll just uh, pull in our own people. Run with Black Widow today, or for now. Well, for a second there, it said searching for heroes. But now it's not. <laughs> Do I have, okay, so right now it's not in, I noticed recently my game has been switching to not exclusive full screen. And I think that it might actually be running a little bit better, but I'm not 100% sure. We're getting about almost 90 frames. 10 more seconds and we'll launch it ourselves. 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, no way. It's not worth really matchmaking for a drop zone either, because those missions go so the quick. They're like literally less than ten, where mi aim has been ten minutes. Conducting experiments on inhumans. Or can be. We'd like to get hold of any materials they've been using in their research. But first, we must gain access to Ames laboratory pods. Defend the lab's main access point while I hack into their system. Warning, this area will be well defended. So I did see two people on the Reddit. I don't know how accurate it actually is, but supposedly two people were arguing on the Reddit saying that we'll need there's to take going control to be of their systems. another version of uh, Quick Match. Right now, it throws you into somebody that's waiting for a team member to join. But, um, wait, how many people does it automatically? Oh, so it goes towards four people automatically, but this will bump it up to six. That's pretty cool. And that bumps it up to eight. Yo, I'll take that. Get me to the location on your HUD. Um, people were saying Doesn't that. How many? We got this. They might be adding another, an additional way of enemies uh, or quick matching, where instead of uh, <laughs> instead of throwing you into somebody's match that's waiting for somebody, it would actually uh, just queue up four people together and queue a random mission completely. And personally, I kind of prefer that instead. Um, because I'd rather, like, I feel like if you're matchmaking for the same mission and you just have matchmaking enabled, then that's cool. Like, that works too. 
if there's enough people trying to do x mission like the same one but in a case where like if you're just trying to do quick match i feel like being able to just enable it like just literally quick quick match quick match and you're automatically put into a game with somebody that's also just looking to do any random game or random mission um that way you actually get a full team rather than okay you click quick match and now it's dropping you into somebody who's by themselves waiting for two other people as well bypassing their security will take some time and right now because it takes clear. so long a lot of people are getting nervous and they're like launching it after getting one person into their game because they're afraid that the person's gonna leave which i totally get i've i've seen that i've done it myself because i was afraid that somebody would leave before uh we get a third person or whatever i try to read read whatever the person's doing if they tr want to launch it then i'm down to launch the mission right away if they want to wait then i'm down to wait too depending on what type of mission to actually last night we were trying to do a villain sector uh me and soldier pat and it was taking forever to find teammates now granted we are a little bit higher level now but still i'm i guarantee that there's definitely people as high if not higher than us so it was taking a while i need more time keep the area free of hostile that's sick Oh god. Going down. That was just a warm up. So like this drop zone right here, I think it's literally just this mission. Once this area is fully secured, then that's it. I think. Oh my god, dude. Done. Hang it. Oh god, the adaptoids are here. Oh god. The audio is like being weird now too. Oh jeez. They're all down. Do the finisher. Rally cry. Ow. Secure the area. Not bad. That did it. Nice. And there it is. See, that's how fast drop zones are. Literally like five minute missions. Um, so doing 10 of them should be no problem. The only thing is we might have to do about, um, two of them, or we might have to do a few of them in, uh, repeat. Well done. The resistance now has access to the research pods in this laboratory. With any luck, we can ascertain new information on their inhuman research project and hopefully use it to protect more of our people. Nice. So that was pretty good pretty good uh now since it's one o'clock we should have all of the uh action missions that just spawn and it looks like each day they're uh tweeting out some more information on characters but today they put one out for uh kamala khan There we go. Okay, so faction missions, right? Your 
Clear for landing. Transferring to hangar. Looks like the cavalry is here. I knew we could count on you. I knew we could count on you. <laughs> you gonna say that? Keep this up, and I might start sleeping again. <laughs> okay, she's not repeating like the other character does. So we got all those. Uh, let's go to the other area. Right here, travel to outpost, ant hill. So travel over to the ant hill, pick up all the inhuman uh, faction missions. Uh, wait, uh, I think we, was there a big one to pick up too, like the uh, villain sector thing? Not 100% sure. I might have just missed it though. Nice. Right, we probably have a bunch of reward or. We might have like one or two actually. It might not be as many as I expected. <laughs> but there should be some from the the faction vendor here. Hey, Avenger. Okay, here's ooh, what I need. Ooh, ooh. Defeat enemies, defeat enemies. Any war zone. You are a life Allies. Oh wait. Seriously? I always forget You're that this is a mission. So we do have to pick up the other one at the other location. I keep thinking that it's like the uh you look like someone who wants to talk to me. <laughs> nice. Seriously? How many things you got? Two. Seriously? You're the best. Maybe next time? Faction level increased. Oh wait. We might have another one. Hello there. What cap skins you got? Uh one okay. sec, I'll show you. Right. Also, what's going on? That's tough. I uh, Let's see. I pretty much just have like the, here's the three campaign one, or no, these two are the campaign. This one I got from, uh, it was just one of the, um, the patterns. Here's the deluxe one. And then here's the frontline, um, pre-order one. That's all I have right now, though. Uh, oh, wait. I do have the Stark one, too. But, uh, yeah, looks like I got locked out. What? <laughs> I had it. I was using that one all day yesterday, too. Oh, boy. Well, hopefully it gets restored. <laughs> Yo, what's going on, living legend? That The Stark one's like, one of my favorite ones, too. But yeah, it looks like it's locked out right now. That's crazy. I did see a lot of people complaining. They're like, oh, I completed this story, but I have a cat or I have a skin locked now. And there's the Stark Tech one and it's locked out. Huh. Oh, well. I. Uh, I'm going to wait until going to the next one. I want the challenge card 15 cap skin. I don't know if I, let me see. Challenge card 15. I can't get, see, it doesn't let me get to page two. <laughs> uh, I can get to page three. This one's pretty cool. US agent. I can't see page two though. I can see four. And five. Oh, there's two. Oh, there we go. All right, cool, cool. Fifteen. Uh, Americana. Yeah, that one's cool. I like this stealth one at twelve. That's pretty sick. I like this one, honestly. But that one's pretty cool too. <clears throat> That's like a classic, like Captain America outfit. Um, there we go. So I was finally able to see those. 
Uh, I need to run some more drop zones now. Let's see. Do we have any more? Now uh, these are Thor missions. Now we Tundra. Here's another drop zone. And that's a villain sector. I'm going to run this drop zone and then uh, I guess we'll see. Super good. Or I'm good. Super Mario 64 got announced for a Nintendo Switch and I'm excited AF for it. It does look pretty cool. Um, I saw that they're also bringing uh, <laughs> a Battle Royale at some point too, <laughs> which is very interesting. But it's cool stuff. I'm just going to launch it because uh, we're just doing a drop zone right now. Avengers, we've discovered the location of a high-security AIM server facility. If you gain control of the login stations, I should be able to hack into their systems and steal valuable information for the Resistance. Be on your guard. This facility is likely to be defended by elite I AIM I really hope with everybody picking up the game tomorrow Hostiles. or being able to play by midnight tonight, I really hope that populates the servers. And I really hope that that helps a lot with matchmaking. Network temporarily, I can infiltrate their security system. Whoa! Avengers, we I totally missed that turret. Head for the terminal <laughs> so I can get you inside the lab. Boom. Oh god. Jeez, dude. What the? Yeah, my uh my guys aren't the the greatest. <laughs> Drop some gear right here, so I'll pick that up real quick. Legend, are you planning on uh, picking this game up at all? Just curious. Ames network is equipped with a multi-point authentication system. So I need hack access server to multiple for this one. Terminals. The more the better. Yeah, oh, this is the Anyone one where you just need to capture all the locations. If they gain access to That's the not terminals. bad. You cannot let them. Beginning infiltration. There they are. I'm inside AIM security system. That was just a warm up. Boom. The next one. That helps. Thank you. Level 30. Jeez. Coming on up quick here. No. You move. What? Beginning infiltration. Ah, oh, that sucks, Steve. I threw it at the wall, but I thought it was gonna go up here and hit somebody, not just like do what it just Beginning did. Beginning infiltration. Pick it up. Uh. Aim is trying to remove me from their system. I'm inside Aim security go. system. Capture B. That helps. Thank you. Aim has initiated their shutdown. Oh God. Protocol. Oh God. Stuff's definitely easier doing it with a teammate. Beginning infiltration. Fight. <laughs> we don't have that right now. Aim is trying to remove me from their systems. We're almost there. I'm 95. Aim security system. 
There we go. Not bad. A little bit rough there. But that's one of the things that I like about these drop zones. They give you some decent XP. And then... Uh, you also get them done fairly quickly. Nice. And we got some yellow gear from that. Not bad. Whoa, two pieces. Jeez. I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> Excellent work. Clear Andy. skies. I was able to obtain several terabytes of vital aim intel. It will take me some time to analyze, but it should prove a boon for the resistance. Not bad. Let's see what we got next. Uh, we're honestly running out of drop <laughs> drop zones unless we run the same ones. Also, let me see what I want to track today. So I definitely want to do this mission and then this one shortly after. I uh, complete the villain sector. Yeah, we can tag that. Actually, I'll wait for Soldier Pad to get on for that one. Same thing with the vault. Uh, vault onboarding, complete a global offensive. Let's see, Black Widow. I need to get some kills as Black Widow. Same thing with Miss Marvel. I need to <laughs> defeat one Dreadbot as Iron Man, I guess. Uh, and then I have the Hulk mission too. Forgot about that one. And that's literally everything right now. Um, let me see. Move that around. So we got four drop zones done. We got three kills with that. Some of those. Those honestly will just come over time too. I don't know if we honestly have any more drop zones, like actually right now. Defend threat sector, defend drop zone. There's one. I think when you do these, the table just updates every once in a while and then a new drop zone might come in or something like that i'm gonna switch out black widow for iron man avengers several resistance fighters are trapped in the field AIM is closing in on their position and we need you to rescue them before they're overwhelmed. Get to their provided location and defend them as long as necessary. We will extract them when AIM forces have been eliminated. There are inhumans caught in a standoff up ahead. Dude, this thing bounces off so many things and it doesn't kill them. Here's why they call us Avengers. Oh, that's friendly. <laughs> I guess we can get through here. This one's just defend the area. Backup has arrived. Protect those inhumans. Avengers, charge! I might honestly change the. Uh... The ability right now when I throw this for the third time uh, it staggers the enemy but I think I'd rather take the damage hit as of right now at least 
Oh god, B is about to die. Dude. Inhuman down. You must keep them safe. Dude, I don't know where B is at. I think B is just straight up dead. was pretty nice right there oh god dude come on guys he's about to die too One big boy. Can't make this easy for you. They're safe. There it is. We lost one, but that's the casualty of war. <laughs> now RIP to the one inhuman that we lost. So that's five drop zones. I need about five more. Avengers. <laughs> you saved our people so they can fight another day. The resistance will surely succeed with you watching their backs. Yes, of course. Of course. There's a drop zone. Snowy Tundra. Do you have any? More, for, more table refresh in 10 seconds. All right, we'll wait. There it is. Okay. Seven missions. Wait, what was that? This one. Priority. Right. Okay. There's a drop zone, defend drop zone, and there's another one. Nice, nice. Okay, so it's nice that they do cycle them in. Both of these are defends, though, so that kind of makes it rough. Oh, boy. Let's see if we can get at least one person. I guess. I don't know if it's making it plus five now with companions because let's see if I disable all of them now it's still plus five though like everything is plus five now as challenge two I don't know if that's because my guys are lower level or like are trapped in the field I don't know what Aim causes that. Am I over leveled? To them so now, like, Get they're them leveling them up? And <laughs> them as long as I could always. Them when aim forces have been eliminated. I could always switch to Thor and see if it drops them down then. I don't know. Aim scientists are fighting aim for. Right, I forgot to. See, this thing is being weird now. It doesn't equip the highest artifacts that you have. Like, there's a higher one right there. And then I have a 450, another 57 right there. I don't know, man. I don't know. Let's 
Let's get rid of that. Uh, 54 versus, yeah, that's fine. Upgrade this two times to get both those stats. It's like silent right now. Weird. Two. Two. That, that'll definitely help. Uh, and then we got some skills here. See, once... Uh, it'll let you choose either one. So, hold up to two charges of the steamroller, uh, hero ability. The shield returns for a kick, dealing additional heroic damage. Okay. 25%. Every two enemies defeated with the steamroller regen drops a regen pack. Generates a heroic orb. Every two defeated with the generates an intrinsic orb. Okay. I'm gonna take this guy. And two charges, additional damage or stun. Um, I guess we'll, we'll do two charges. We'll try that. They want to defect. Help them. Oh, nice. Guys down. <laughs> A free chest. Oh, God. There's charge number one. Nice. Now they all spawn back here. Weird. So many challenges completed in, in such quick quick time. Watch out. All right, let's try this. We just need to rescue these guys. I think the next two are all, all rescues. scientists defeat aims forces oh we need help see get out of here See, he's still in trouble, though. Oh, God. Really? Dude, I hate... I don't understand that. I literally threw it, so that way it would go, dude, uh, like, bounce off the enemy. But I guess you have to hit the first en enemy, and then it'll seek out others. But if, I think if you miss the first one, then it, basically it's like, oh, that sucks. The scientists are safe. But nice, we, them we kept all of them alive. So they can evacuate. Thirty-one, not bad. Dude, we are twenty levels away from max level on our first character. Kind of crazy. Good job, Avengers. You saved our people so they can fight another day. The resistance will surely succeed with you watching their backs. All right, so we got another point. Uh, this time I'm gonna bump it to that guy. I forgot about that one. Quick best gear. There we go. 